what if you want to be that cool sex positive parent that talks to their kids about stuff and the, your kid does not want to talk to you about sex what do you do i'm here with jd aka jen divine from superstar health uh, and i'm kathy martulli from the intimacy dojo.com and i think that's a great like you know, yeah okay i've learned all this stuff i'm really good at this now i have i'm ready and mm-hmm. then you go to talk to the kid, and you were saying, like, what if they just put their hand? They're like, no, I don't want to talk to you about it. What do you do? Well, it, and first of all, you, I just want to acknowledge that's really normal. Yeah. And that can happen at any age. Little kids sometimes are, like, just not, not wanting to talk about those things. They find it icky or mm-hmm. uh, it's just not in their bandwidth. Um, teenagers often are boundary setting and mm-hmm. saying, hey, no, I don't want to talk about it. So I always say that that is actually a really positive sign. Mm. Um, they're willing to say no to you. They're willing to set some boundaries mm. and say, you know what, this isn't what I want to talk about right now. But you know what, they are still listening. Yeah. <laughs> so they know they can not, go to you now about it. Yeah. It, the the idea that there's this one talk that people have. <laughs> yeah, it's you know, the, talk. the talk. And it was big drama talk, <laughs> and it's like full of sacred and you know tawdry information. No, it's actually. Um, the opportunities for um, parenting around issues of bodies, gender, sex, consent, pleasure are available all the time. So um, periodic times where people are like, Mom, please stop talking about like that billboard about porn right now in the car because I'm really tired of it. It's great. It's good boundary setting. But in the meantime, you're just bringing it into the conversation because mm-hmm. it happens everywhere. Yeah. Um, and you can thank them. For, hey, thanks for letting me know, setting your yep. boundaries, being clear. Yep. Um, and, you know, just know that I'm available and able. Mm-hmm. I'd love to talk to you when you do have questions. Or the other great thing to do as a parent is it's developmentally normal for kids to stop being really close to their parents, start being closer with their peer groups. Yeah. Right? and or other adults that they trust, that you trust also in their lives. So set that up. Like, Make sure you know who are the other adults in your kid's life that you trust, mm-hmm. that, and you can make sure that they know they can go to Aunt JD or you know, wonderful Uncle Bob, and <laughs> um, that Uncle Bob has an agreement with you that you're not going to, Uncle Bob's not going to disclose to you as parents what they share. Yeah. But you completely trust Uncle Bob and Aunt JD with the information that your child might come to them with that might be more personal or boundary, you know, more like private that, or about yeah. sexuality. So, like, your kids know there are other people they can talk mm-hmm. to, too. So it's it's cool. When they give you the hand, it's like, great, you know how to set boundaries. That's awesome. Super skill to have, <laughs> like, as a grown-up dealing with sexuality. Because sometimes you want to say, I invite you in, and other times you say, I don't need a hug today. Mm-hmm. Or I don't want you to touch my genitals in that way, yeah. or whatever it is. Yeah. So. That's great. Thanks so much for sharing that. Yeah. If you have thoughts or comments, please leave them below. We'd love to know what you think. Thanks.